Hello everyone, my name is Reese from Waypoint and in this video we're going to be going through the recent Deer UI updates. Now for those of you who have never heard the term UI, what UI stands for is user interface and essentially represents the design of everything you interact with in the system, how it looks and feels and functions. So this hasn't all happened in one fell swoop. Um, at this stage only a few areas have been updated to the new UI and this is to ensure that people can gradually get used to the new design before the whole system actually changes and is updated to this new designed language. Now what I'm going to be doing is going through a few of those areas that have changed. I'm going to be making clarifications on where certain functions have moved if they have changed quite drastically. Um, but otherwise I'm going to be pointing out a few things to be aware of in the new um, changes. The first thing I want to point out is the um, movement of your uh, accounting integration option. This zero connection in this instance used to be on the far right hand side and is now on the far left, enabling you to see your sync status and do manual syncs right from there. The rest of your options are on the far right. Now for a lot of you, um, you may be using the current vertical menu, but some may be using the older horizontal menu where the menu options were along the, um, the top of the screen. What you can do, um, be aware, is you can expand this menu as you're um, beginning to learn this interface, just so you can actually see the, the worded names of these rather than learning the iconography straight off the bat, but they're organized in the same way. Um, as the horizontal menu. Though if you are wanting to actually get your menu back, you can go to the palette over here and you can only change the color of the pr um, primary option choice. So in this instance, we're using the default, which as you can see here, the manage dashboard is in the teal. If I change this here, the color actually changes to whatever may be suitable. But you can also change the na navigation style from vertical to horizontal, which might be more familiar for some. Now previously the support option used to be floating on the far right hand corner and is now going to be found right here on the far left if you need to um, raise a bug or an issue with Deer directly. The other thing to be aware of in this palette option is a layout called fixed width or full width um, option. Now I've got this currently on full width and I'm going to be demonstrating this when we're looking at the changes to the sales module as how is this how this can be used depending on your screen size to get the most out of Deer. One area that has changed quite drastically um, is the dashboard which is your landing page in Deer. Not only has this seen um, a lot of the UI be improved but there's also been some additional functionalities here. So you'll see the same um, reports but now what you can do is you can um, get these reports, you can change how the data is represented in either bars, lines, filled lines, points, um, and lines with points. There's quite a few options here. Now I'm going to change the data set, which you can now do up here in the far left as opposed to the far right. This just means I'll be working off um, a larger period of time. So we can see some better data. I'm just going to go with the last quarter. So some defaults are here, but you can manually select the um, date range you want to be calculating this dashboard analytics off. And there's also a brand new option here with compare to previous dates. We'll talk about that in a moment as it's one of the biggest changes to the dashboard. So applying this here will give me a little bit more data and be a better example of some of the differences you can apply when changing these um, data sets here to read how you'd want to actually read them. Note that you can still hover over these to actually get breakdowns of all the information. It all works as you'd expect. You can still minimize, um, maximize and completely remove modules as you'd expect. And you also have the manage dashboard option here, which if you've made any changes, you can easily reset your layout or customize exactly what's shown on this screen. Now, one of the biggest changes here is the compare um, to previous dates. This enables you to select a period um, of time of which your dashboard is looking at, select this option, and either compare this to the previous period. So if this is the last quarter, it's going to compare it to the, the period just previous, or the same time in the previous calendar year. So if I hit apply, now what will happen is my dashboard will actually show some 
basic computational analytics of whether you're up or down and by what percentage with some of these, which can be really, really helpful when you're looking um, at trends and changes. That's essentially it for the dashboard. Um, some great little updates that should make uh, the digestion of this information far more um, easy. And uh, now what we wanna do is move on to the list area of the system. So in both purchases and sales, the list module, which you'll find here in the search, has been updated. Largely what this means is some updates to the iconography, um, some movement of some of your options, but your options are still here to filter by the status or type here, your search is up here. Um, but you also have your switching of view types just up here in these tabs. So general view, accounting view to be focused more on the invoice and credit note status and fulfillment to be focusing more on the um, pick, pack and shipping status of your orders. So those still exist, but they've just been um, moved there. Another thing to be aware of um, is this is also affected in purchases. So if we just quickly travel to the purchase section here. This has been updated with the same interface. Some slight iconography changes. As you see here, the stock received um, icon has been changed, but largely things are as you'd expect. Moving into the customer list, the customer list has been updated to this um, new style. And also if you are um, editing any of your customers or creating new customers, you've now got a new um, creation module, which instead of having the top and bottom section, what you'll have is this little sidebar here to navigate to the different areas you may want to add data or review data against these. So all the same options, they've just been moved to the far left and switching between them takes you to the areas you'd expect. You'll see this rolled out to suppliers as well in the future. Um, and pretty much this design language of the, the left-hand side bar is gonna be used throughout the system. So it's a great, um, great way to have that consistency throughout. So what I want to do now is I want to go into a um, sale. And first what we'll do is we'll look at a simple sale. I'm just gonna create one here. And fundamentally, all the options are here. There's been um, some refinement to how the actual text is displayed. Everything looks a little bit cleaner and more consistent. You can still minimize this top section after you've created it and focus purely on the bottom of the order here. Um, but everything here works as expected. So if I was to jump in here and create a quick little um, sale, boop. We still got all the pop-ups um, and tool tips in regards to stock availability. Um, so I can grab these here, see my images in line, tab across, keep adding products as you need. Everything has more of a defined section. So you'll see here your additional charges and services are more enclosed now. Order memo and your order lines are just a little bit more cleaned up here. So moving this um, through, you'll notice that everything lights up as you expect and works in the same way. Just a general um, facelift of the actual module. So this is a good opportunity for me to showcase the difference between the layout with fixed width and full screen width. If you notice here, we have the order being spread to pretty much the full width of the page. But depending on the screen size, you may want to use fixed width which just means that things are a little bit closer together and more compressed. This does mean that there will be some unused space on the side of your screen. But it'll mean that things are a little bit closer and a little bit easier to read collectively. So your, uh, your success with this may vary um, and just choose the one that feels right for you and your display. Um, another thing to note is all your options are up here at the top, color coded depending on whether they're dangerous or not, um, but the options still exist and are all um, up here in the far right hand side. So let's have a uh, quick look at the advanced sale, which has had um, quite some changes. So if I go new advance here, leave this page. So we mentioned before that when now going with Deer's left-hand side as their core design language. So we see here the advanced sale, which used to have all the options on the far left, now, uh, sorry, on the far right, now move to the far left. 
So another thing to be aware of is this light blue color indicates the current area you are um, selecting. One of the things with the advanced sale is there's many different areas you can find yourself in and sometimes it can be um, confusing to know where exactly you are in this sale. The blue highlight tells you exactly where you are. So if I was to grab a um, client here, doo -doo -doo, just a quick little demo client here, great. Um, so you're still creating the um, orders and the products just, uh, sorry, and the uh, quotes just as you'd expect. Once you authorize the sales order, ignoring that this customer is currently on credit hold, which is a feature they added um, a fair few months ago. Now what happens is the order expands to enable the fulfillment here and the invoicing to occur. You can create multiple fulfillments and multiple invoices and it works just as it has previously. Um, I'm just gonna minimize this here so we can get everything on the screen. If I add a fulfillment, um, you notice here the blue highlight moves from the sales order down here to the picking section and I can process this in the exact same way as I have previously, just with some um, cleaner uh, user interface here. Invoicing works in the same way, the same data we're working with as previously, just a little bit more cleaned up and just being aware that the blue indicates exactly where you're currently looking throughout the sale. Your options for each of these, such as your ability to undo, etc., are all tucked behind these arrows here on each of the particular stage of the order you may be interacting with. The only other area that's really seen uh, many other changes is when you go to settings and in reference books. Reference books um, used to be pretty much divided into separate sections. Those separate sections can be found here, but instead you can actually see everything as a list on the far right, or simply select the applicable filter and you're shown the options relevant for that category. That pretty much sums up um, the basics of the UI changes. Um, Feel free to play around, get used to the changes. Uh, it should, you should also notice that um, the system is running a lot quicker than it was um, prior to this UI update as well. Um, if you have any questions in regards to these changes or need assistance in Deer in general, feel free to reach out to us here at Waypoint. We're more than happy to help.